First, let's start off with materials. You need your lace tape and then you need an HD wig cap. You also need the perfect line um, knot concealer. Also, I will be using an Icy Beauty Human Hair Wig. They are not sponsoring this. I am doing it myself and a whip grip band. So first of all, I just wanted to show y'all the unboxing. Um, I'm taking it out of the box. When I opened it, there is actually a free um, makeup like powder sponge um, that you can use to put the makeup on to your wig. Also, it comes in the packaging. This is the pre-cut wig. This is the wear and go wig. It is a 20 inch wig. It's very soft hair. It's already pre-cut and pre-plucked. -pre so um, I'm not doing any plucking to this wig. I'm also not doing any cutting to this wig. I'm going to actually just put it on my head and wear and go. So first of all, you wanna get a cup of water, hot water um, that you put in the microwave for two minutes. You'll take that perfect line, not concealer, and you'll throw it in the cup for two to three minutes. After that has elapsed, you're gonna take that out. You'll get your wig at the back of the wig then you will take the perfect line not concealer and you will put that at the back of the space of the lace of the wig make sure that you cover very well where you're gonna part you want to make sure it's really thick where you're gonna part so that you cover up all of the knots and here i'm just making sure that everything is covered appropriately Okay, y'all, so now we have used the Perfect Line Concealer, and then I'm gonna move on to using the sponge, the free sponge that they gave me to just make sure that the concealer is really pressed really well into the lace. Then we're gonna use a lace tint mousse. This is optional, but I use the lace tint mousse in order to any any spaces that I've missed with the Perfect Line Concealer and making sure that it's brown because the good thing about the Perfect Line Concealer is also going to tint your lace. But any parts that I have missed, this lace tint mousse will get it. I have very dark skin, as you can see. So I'm using the darkest tint that I can find. The trick is use the dark tint <laughs> and a tint darker than your skin. So now I'm just patting down the excess and I'm taking a concealer to just make sure that I've gotten every spot to make sure that it's nice and covered in terms of the lace, that the lace is nice and colored and I've left no room for errors. I am using Too Faced. Now this is something that I just started using it is almost like a scalp tape and it helps to hide the knots now the perfect line wig concealer will help hide the knots but I just do this as like an extra extra protocol um, because I am not bleaching knots on this wig I'm actually going to use the tape and I'm going to use the perfect line concealer to hide my knots so all you're going to do is tape it along the hairline making sure that it's not too far um, up the lace so that people don't actually see the tape and then you're also going to tape it on your part and as you can see it is taped in like a little cross um, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's as it's on your part, that's the most important aspect. 
Now we're going to move on to putting on the wig cap. I make sure that I use an HD lace wig cap and the wig grip. I love this wig grip because it has like a little bit of lace in the middle. It really helps to hide things. Make sure you have a nice melt. So then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Too Faced concealer and I'm just going to make sure on the wig cap and on my grip that it is covered with the foundation just in the places where I know that the lace is actually going to fall. Um, the thing I love about an HD wig cap is as you can see, it's already blending into my skin. You don't really need to use any knots, uh, not knots, I'm sorry don't need to use um, a ball cap so now I'm going to tighten up the wig band before I slip this onto my head um, I'm moving this around a bit because I want to make I wanted a side part I didn't want a middle part this is a five by five closure, I believe. And so because of that, I have a little bit of versatility as to how I can part it and how I can make the parts. So I could also do a middle part or I could do a part on the other side if I wanted to. So now we're gonna just make sure that the wig is laid in the direction that we want it to go. And I push it back a bit because I'm gonna use a little bit of a lace tape our wig tape so we take the wig tape off of the paper and then between my forehead not on my hairline but between my forehead and on the wig grip band I apply the tape this is really important because this is also going to help your um, wig cap from slipping and then I will take the wig and I'll make sure it's applied right over the tape. Now I'm just making sure it's secured with a rat tail comb, making sure that the edges are not creeping up. One thing about wig tape, you really wanna make sure you lay it down right the first time <laughs> because if you have to reapply, it kind of loses its stickiness. So now I'm going to go in with a color that's a that's darker than my skin tone and I'm going to go over the lace in front of my head just to make sure that it's really melted and I'm going to go a little bit in the part. I realized that I used to use something that was lighter than my skin in the part but actually using something that's a little darker than your skin actually works best. So then I take um, wax, you use whatever wax you want. I'm using a Remy wax, but um, I take a wax and I put it on the edges and I also put it near the part. I take a wig band and I'm just gonna put that on the lace so that we can make sure that that makeup that I just put in melts in really well. Now I'm gonna make sure that I use my hot comb in order to make sure that the lace is nice and flat. And as you can see, I'm actually going back in with a rat tail comb to make sure that my part is straight. For beginners, make sure you use a rat tail comb to do the part. It's the easiest type of comb to use, in my opinion. Um, this part that I'm doing in terms of the hot comb is very important to getting your lace nice and flat because you really want it to look nice and flat. So make sure that you're using that hot comb and if you have to go through it a couple of times, just keep going through it until it looks the sleekness that you desire. Um, so now, this is optional, you really don't have to do this, but I use a little bit of freeze spray just around the hairline, um, just to make sure that it really, really melts in. You actually do not need to use this. As you can see, um, my wig is, you know, melted into my skin, but I like to use that just as an extra, extra layer. Um, so now I'm gonna put on my wig band after I let it air dry. And I'm doing a quick style, just going to be doing some curls, some flat iron curls around my head.
and so this is the finished look guys totally melted i love this icy beauty wig for more on my channel join me next time